Zay Automotive Reviews. You guys, thanks for watching. Um, again, we're talking about the Ford Bronco. And um, these are some interior picks. Um, some interior picks by um, Autoblog. And these are the, uh, the best interior picks yet. And this right here is a Ford Bronco coming out of the water. And it looks really, 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 really nice, folks. But let's look at some interior picks. Now, the 2021 uh, Ford Bronco debut is just a week away. And as we approach um, the day of the big reveal, um, Ford development engineers are getting a bit more relaxed and casual about the camouflage. And this is what um, Motor One has seen. Um, as far as the interior picks, and these are some real good interior picks. The shifter, you got the uh, HVAC controls, you got, you know, different buttons here. Everything looks like high quality, you know, rubbery touch as you could look at, and I can imagine it clicking as you turn it. Dual climate control zones. Um, that looks like, that looks like tune, but I'm not sure what that says. And you also have the emergency braking, not emergency braking, but brake hold. That's what that looks like. Um, so you got the different features. You got everything just laid out in a nice shifter. You got the leather here. You got the. You have the uh, the mini. Um, you have the USB cord and the mini uh, USB as well. So you have a you have the, the grab hold levers to hold on to something as you're going off road, and it looks like the plastic here don't look high quality over here in this in this hole over here, but it looks real shiny. I mean, as you can see. So you get the AC controls again, the HVAC. Um, I'm trying to look to see what these are defrosts. It looks like a power button to turn on the power. So you have everything set up here. You know, there's not anything else you can see in this pick besides the, you know, the uh, the vent as far as opening and closing it. And here you have the cup holders, and you have the um, the off-road. Um, the mode, the different modes right here, and you also have the rubber dial. And again, the plastic looks nice, but it, this doesn't look super high quality. But it does look nice, you know. You see the cutoff here. You have the L and R, which means left and right. And I'm trying to see what that is. And if you know what that is, you know, just go ahead and write it in the comments. I don't know what that insignia is. Could that be the mirrors? Could that be a mirror controller? For left and right? That's the only thing I can think of. Or could it be heat? Now just tell me what you think it might be. You got the nice cup holders and the fit the size right here. So they took this off so you, we could so we could see it. And they did this on purpose because the day is approaching. Monday is approaching us. And as you can see. Let's look at that. Go back and look. Let's look at some more of the picks and see if we can get to some more. You know, guys know the day's approaching. The Bronco. And, of course, that's the, uh, the Baja um, that was done in 2019. Different picks. Different rendering. Uh, this is the Jeep Wrangler, which is a stiff competition. But... It's not gonna hurt the sales. You know, Bronco's not gonna hurt the sales of the Wrangler, and, a, and a, the Wrangler's not gonna hurt the sales of the uh, Bronco in any way. Cause they both, they all have their own separate, you know, following. This is a stick shifter, and all that. So this is um. Of course, this is the, um, as you can see, the screen is actually here, it's actually flush. 
um, in this particular rendering. It's just like the, um, just like what we saw in the automatic, but the other one's automatic. You can see the resemblance, and boy, is this a, is this a big, nice screen. And this is by TFL Car, who um, got in trouble for taking these pictures and leaking them, and they weren't invited to the revealing, which is going to be July 13th because of that. Again, this is for just giving us a side prof view of the Bronco. And this right here is something that was released uh, three weeks ago. And this was just released about a week ago, so too, as well, showing you, you know, the two door, uh, the Bronco, and the Bronco Sport. Of course, that's car and driver rendering. And that's the Bronco Insignia. And I think we're going the wrong way. Let's see if we can go this way. Yep, yeah, we're going the right way. Let's go back and go back through some of these picks. This is the one by rendering by Mohan. Definitely sharp. That right there is the regular Bronco, and this right there is actually the uh, Bronco Sport. I believe it is, because you don't see the. It's not connecting here. Just letting you know this is all about the business right here. And of course, this is a rendering. Definitely, it's definitely, definitely a nice setup, folks. We expect a, a a lot from the Ford Bronco. So, as you as you look here, the. Uh, this is the the best as far as the cabin is revealed so far. Ford appears has to consolidate most of his Bronco off-road controls into two distinct spaces. The first is the uh, the rotary dial, as we see here. Let's go here and look on the center console, in which um, you can see uh, the markers for all the four primary drive modes, which you can see here. You see, um, you see the two H for the uh, two wheel drive high, and you see the four H for the four uh, four wheel drive high, and the four L for the four wheel drive low, and the four A, which appears to be a full time automatic uh, four wheel drive mode. Similar to that being offered on it's on on the Wrangler variants as far as the Jeep, they call it Select Track. Or rock track, uh, depending on the model. Now the secondary controls are up above the infotainment screen on the center stack. Now this small collection of buttons appear to have a manual toggle for the front and rear locking differentials. But we don't have that particular picture in this rendering. Uh, Dirt control has the icon that cannot be identified, but it appears to indicate um, some sort of driveline disconnect feature, which is going to be nice. Next to that, you can see the traction control toggles, and then the button for the Bronco four-way flasher. Uh, what you don't see here are the accessory uh, ready switches on the uh, blank off plates. The 2021 Ford Bronco has another console mounted to his windshield frame. Um, and uh, that's been spotted in previous photos. And we know that the uh, that it houses a bank of six accessory switches. And um, TFL actually did that particular. Um, they actually have that. Now, normally we wouldn't expect uh, as many spy f uh, photos as we've seen here. Now, so it's going to be, 
there's going to be a lot, you know, to be revealed about, about this Ford Bronco. And the interior, uh, the little bitty uh, snippets we have here speaks for themselves. And let's go back and look at the center stack and all that. That's just, it's just really nice. Nice, it's a nice um, gear selector as well. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot to expect, folks. A lot to know about. And we're all dying and waiting for this, um, the 13th for this revealing. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.